Hi there! Within this little video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can spawn ground operations dynamically within your mission and randomize from where these ground forces are coming by randomizing the zone. For demonstration purposes, I've created this little test mission. Exactly as within the previous uh, test mission, what I've done here is I added two zones, very simple zones, um, using the zone class within the Moose framework. Um, so I have a zone 1 with a 100 meter radius and a zone 2 with a 100 meter radius. So the spawn vehicle on each object that is spawned within the mission dynamically will either be spawned here or there. Now let's have a look how this looks um, scripting. When we look at the script which you can find in spawning SPA 16 Ground Ops Randomized Zones. You'll find these little lines here. So the first that I'm doing here is I'm creating a zone table. So I'm using the zone class, which is documented within the Moose Framework. I'm just using the zone class, a very simple re uh, radius zone. Um, and I'm using the name of the zone that has been defined within the mission. And I'm creating a table of two zone objects that are created using the zone class of the Moose Framework. I'm storing that in zone table. And then the spawn API allows you to randomize the zones from where the uh, vehicles are being spawned by providing the zone table as a parameter. And this is the API description that uh, is being documented within the Moose Framework. Okay, so let's look how this is running. Okay, so now you can see, and I'm speeding this up a bit, that these vehicles are being spawned within that zone at a random basis, and they will start following the path as outlined. Notice that the path itself is also randomized. Okay, brings even more dynamic capabilities for mission designers, I guess.